Hey everybody, this is Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro. And you know, um, my boy Joy, he just played in the APGA uh, uh, tournament and he was 18 holes away from, you know, getting to play in a PGA Tour event. So, you know, uh, congratulations to him. You know, uh, he, he, you know, he was there. He had, he gave himself an opportunity and that's what I'm proud of. But he and I talked about some of the things that uh, he felt um, he needed to improve on, you know, and, and something because he said he really hit the ball well, but he just didn't feel like he was hitting his wedges close enough. Now he's hit wedges with me several times and he's seen the things that I do with wedges, you know. I've always loved hitting wedges and I used to have my struggles with them because I didn't understand them in essence or whatever. Didn't understand exactly, you know, um, certain things in a sense because the wedge is, is part of elegance and finesse and smoothness even if you're hitting to your 70 or 80 yard shot one of the biggest things or biggest ways that i can tell if someone is a good wedge player i watch their swing and if i feel like their lower body is just kind of like going and out of control or, or and i don't want to really say out of control but just overdoing it in a sense in an effort to hit the golf ball especially when you're going down to say seven or eight iron I can tell pretty much what their wedge game is or what their wedge swing is like. And a lot of times I see them as herky-jerky, stabbing, many different things. And one thing you have to understand about a wedge swing is that a wedge swing really defines the actions that you're trying to create. Like in my swing, you know my top-down philosophy. Now this is one of the things where my top-down philosophy actually stands tall. In essence, because when I stand to this ball, you know, I'm pretty much set with the lower body. So it's limited movement in the lower body in a sense, other than, you know, this is where I definitely feel the shift of outside to inside of, of the trail foot, because I'm definitely standing behind the ball. But I try to make it really, really simple. And just kind of like, it's, a, it's to me, and I used to tell, I would tell Joy, I feel like when I'm hitting my wedge, playing my wedge game, I'm just making tosses because the body is set and there is motion, there's no question, but I've already preset in a sense, you know, when I'm hitting, y'all saw the video where I talked about into the toe, I'm already presetting where that energy is going. So it's just a matter of whether I take it up here or I bring it here, whatever it is, is that I just kind of just let, let it go. And I'm pretty consistent with my wedges. You know, I've always, always I've always liked the wedge because you get so many different shots that you can create. So I sit there, and just make that nice little move. But if you all seen the video or my Instagram, you know, uh, where I have an image to where the strike on the ball is vertical and it's showing also that it's horizontal. Well, believe it or not, most people that I've seen, they're actually trying to come in and hit the ball you know, they try to put backspin on it, but they're actually hitting it on more of a horizontal angle coming in this way. When you play a wedge, and and something that I learned a long time ago, and I think it was a, something I read, Martin Hall had put it in a book. Uh, it was either Martin Hall or uh, Jim McClain. Maybe it was Jim McClain. But they had talked about, ah, take it back. I know exactly what, it was Jim Flick. He was talking about getting that club up when you're struggling with hitting it off the hosel and all that. Get that club up in the air. Get it up in the air. The wedges is almost like straight up and down to hit because you're trying to get that club, that ball to go straight towards the target. So the less movement that you have around and all of that, you know, it makes it a lot easier just to get the ball to go through the club. I mean, get the uh, club to go through the ball more or less on this vertical angle. I'll give you an example of that. If I had a stick, take this stick right here, put that club down. If I had this stick and I wanted this stick to go forward, then I could hit it on the top like that. And if I hit it on the top like that, it's pretty much just gonna go straight to the ground. If I hit it around like this, it's pretty much gonna go here. But if I take and I kick it out like that, kick it underneath, no different than when we tossing it, we're throwing the underneath out so this could come back, no different than in a golf swing. But what we're doing, we're trying to get this bottom to go out. Now, most of y'all may remember this from the famous uh, teachings of one of my greats, uh, Harvey Pinnock, 
where he talked about clipping the tee from underneath the ball. Well, what I'm doing is showing you the big tee of what's really happening. See, if it was a ball sitting here, then, you know, what we're trying to do, in essence, we're trying to get the tee to hit it in a sit on a vertical, boom, so we can go under it. So the club can go back like this, or the ball can go back like that. And guess what that is? For wedge play, that's backspin. So when you hit this, get that out of your way. So when you're hitting your wedges, in essence, the biggest thing you want to learn to do is see the visual of that ball. See the vertical. I don't care if you take the ball and turn it this way to remind you for the time being, you know, to me, I think it's more important even just looking at a spot there. Because if you hit it vertical, it's gonna go over that spot anyway. So see that vertical angle on the ball and just hit under it. See, and what that'll do, or hit through it, what that'll do is that'll start getting your arms and everything just to naturally drop because the reason that we can hit a can and all that stuff because we just see it and we just bring it down and hit it so now we're just not hitting a ball we're actually hitting an angle and that angle is straight up and down or vertical so set there feel yourself pull it back and just hit that angle keep swinging through that angle even if you're hitting little soft chips or pitches hit that angle So I'm not so much concerned about what all this is doing because at the end of the day, everything we're doing with our movement as an arm and our body is to go to here, to make this do something. So we are turning this into a tool. So we're turning this into a tool, and this is for those guys on the club focus. We're turning this into a tool, and this tool happens to be a cutting tool or a hitting tool that comes through and hits the wood at the bottom through it to make the bottom boom flip through notice how the top of the, the stick goes back boom we're just doing it boom to make it go back there we go that's the backspin see that's the backspin and so all we're doing is using our creative visualization and taking that same action as if this ball, at the bottom of that ball, was ex nothing but a long stick, strike through it, nothing but a long stick, and all we're doing is making a swing that goes through it. And that ball is as straight with backspin as you can get it. Charles Calhoun, AK The Shade Tree Pro, and always good golfing.